Hi, it's Trish from Airbnb Baby Hammocks here. I thought I'd give you a little demonstration on how to correctly assemble your hammock to the crossbar, which sometimes some people find a bit tricky, so I thought I'd give a little bit more of a detailed explanation. Um, so once you've got your hammock assembled and to this point hanging off your crossbar, you'll find you've got Velcro here that you need to undo. And then if you flip the hammock around, you'll need to do the same on the other side. So just make sure that Velcro is nice and free and open. Next thing you'll need to do is marry up the sides. So what we need to do is just flip the hammock around to meet the sides of the crossbar. And you can see this shape's already changed and it's much more open as the crossbar is now running this way. And what I suggest doing is just hunting for these little ribbons inside. Um, and having them sit just above the crossbar, just so they don't get tangled up later on. Then you need to gather up the sides of the hammock, just like this, and just keep that little bit that holds the ribbons above the side of your crossbar. Tuck the sides of your hammock in, just like that, so now it's sitting all nice here. And you should have your little ribbons sitting up high like that above the crossbar and then flip the hammock around and do the same thing so gather the sides like that make sure the little ribbons and bows are up high slot the sides in like that and then you find your little ribbons here on either side and you'll see they're sitting above this part of the crossbar. Now, all you need to do next is have a look here. Now, you'll see a seam running down your hammock just here. You really wanna make sure it's straight and running in line with the spring. Um, if it is leaning off to one side, just pull and tug until it looks nice and straight. Flip the hammock around and make sure the seam is on the other side. So if it's a little bit leaning to one side, just give it a bit of a pull and a tug just to make sure it's looking nice and straight. Then flip your hammock back so it's facing the front of you again. And you'll see inside here, there's little pieces of Velcro and they just meet each other neatly in here. Like that. And like that. So that will then, the Velcro part will sit above the bar of the crossbar there. The next thing is just flip it around and you'll see your little bows are now sitting up here. And I just do a nice little neat bow. Now you've got the option to either tie it into a bow or leave them hanging like this. I like to do them in a bow because I think it looks pretty. Just like that. Turn your hammock around. Do up the bows above, again above the horns of your crossbar. Same on this side. Like so. Now turn your hammock around again and you'll see this little flap just hanging out around here. You might be wondering which way it goes. Well, what you do is you push it up and behind like so. Bring it underneath this fabric, pull as tight as you can and bring it all up again. And that will just keep feeding around itself until you find the Velcro meets and it sits all nice and neat just like that. And now you should have your safety strap already attached and your little spring cover up here. So all you need to do next is just pull that down, cover everything just like that. Make sure you can't see the safety strap. It looks much neater tucked in. And you'll see there's Velcro inside that just pucks in on itself in the sock, so it just keeps it nice and tidy. And there you have it. Your hammock sling is now assembled correctly.